Hello, I'm Robert Fox, the Environmental Analyst for Team Analysts Elite. Over the last semester, my teammates and I have been conducting a quadruple net value analysis of Caldwell Company's Town Lake Master Plan Community, located in Cypress, Texas. If you'll join me, I'd like to take you through a brief tour of the environmental value captured by this development. Town Lake constituted a massive infill development. The 2,443 acres of the site are situated between existing subdivisions and Highway 290, just outside of Houston, Texas. Despite being located in a highly developed suburb, Caldwell Company maintained 342 acres of green space, including the 275-acre lake. Over one quarter of the development is dedicated to nature, which is highly unusual amongst modern suburbs and should be applauded. Though an urban heat island effect leads to temperatures above 3 degrees Fahrenheit above nearby rural areas, the large swaths of green space and the lake itself temper the felt effect. All in all, Town Lake is above board concerning green space. Air quality is another significant environmental concern. Any developed area experiences a loss in biosequestration efficiency, that is, the ability of the land to absorb and store harmful greenhouse gases. But this capability could have been enhanced by preserving a larger amount of the native tall grasses that preceded the less efficient lawns and flower beds that now dominate the community. On a more positive note, about 85% of the building materials used in the project were sourced from the greater Houston area, reducing the amount of greenhouse gases emitted in transportation on site. In 2013, the EPA found that the transportation industry contributed about 27% of total greenhouse gases produced by five major industrial sectors. Buying local really does make a difference. The development's impact on air quality could be lessened further by offering alternatives to personal automobiles. Currently, a park and ride on the other side of Highway 290 is the only alternative form of transport offered. Additionally, due to the extensive use of cul-de-sacs instead of gridded streets, the community suffers a loss in connectivity that discourages walking and biking to the many local attractions. Town Lake scored higher on its handling of stormwater management. The community's eponymous water feature, Town Lake itself, is at once a recreational amenity, a managed fishery, and the sole retention pond on site. Varying in depth from 10 to 18 feet during major rainfall events, this retention pond is well equipped to handle the next 100-year flood that plagues Cyprus. Additionally, this captured rainwater irrigates landscaped areas throughout the community, reducing the impact of local surface and subterranean water sources. Keeping all this in mind, I applied two sustainability metrics to the development, the U.S. Green Building Council's Lead for Neighborhood Design Version 4 and the Sustainable Sites Initiative Sites Version 2. Ultimately, I found that Town Lake earned 23 points under LEED standards, which is 17 points below certification, and 50 points under SITES metrics, 20 points below certification. Though this sounds like poor performance, I feel that the community performed admirably, considering the meticulous requirements and form demanded of these systems. Its success hinged primarily on the admirable infill placement of the site, its extremely effective stormwater management system, and the large amount of green space maintained for residents and guests alike to enjoy.